today. We are so pleased and so appreciative of Helen's support for our campaign to save Lincolnshire's libraries. And it's entirely fitting that we're here um, at the Ermine Library today because the Ermine Library stands to see its hours cut in half, I think. Um, it's a very popular library, it's very well used by the local community, and it stands cut then um, the whole community stands to detriment. And I believe that's my phone, I'm afraid, which is incredibly embarrassing. <laughs> 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 it's it's Councillor Gary Hewson. Oh, uh, probably wondering where we are. <laughs> anyway, we'll you, you didn't come here to listen to me, <laughs> you came to listen to Helen. So without further ado, Helen. Thank you very much. Now, what do you think about? Great. Well, I'm absolutely delighted to be here. I was so impressed uh, by the, uh, the number of you who came to Parliament last week, and I thought, this is a campaign that is really going somewhere, and I must go to Lincoln to support you all. The decision of Lincolnshire County Council to cut your library service by three quarters is a total disgrace yeah, yeah. to take two million pounds which is a third of the resource out of the library service is a completely irresponsible thing to do you're going to be faced with a situation where a quarter of the households in this county are beyond the government's own guidelines as to how far people need to travel to get to their local library we all know how important libraries are they're important for everybody in the community. They're important for children. Nowadays, children have to upload their homework on a computer to the school. So they need to be able to have access to a computer in the local library. They're fantastic for unemployed people who are looking for work. And they're important also for mums with toddlers and young children. And I gather that one of the things they're doing here at the Ermine Library is closing the Friday morning session. Now, before I was in Parliament, one of the jobs I had was running the National Association of Toy and Leisure Libraries. And what we were was an organisation that supported the lending of toys and facilities for people with disabled children and small children. And often they were being run out of libraries. And that was fantastic because it was a way of opening up the libraries to more people, to giving people early on a reading habit. And everybody talks about the modernisation of the British economy, about the way we're going to acknowledge the economy, about the way we want high skilled jobs, that's the only way to compete with the Chinese and the Indians. Well, if there isn't an opportunity for people to get their education, to do the learning themselves, where are we going to stand? Where are the people of Lincoln going to stand? It's completely ridiculous. So, I fully support your campaign to defend your libraries. Today, I've written to the new Secretary of State, Saeed Jafford, asking him to use his power. He's got a duty to look at whether your local library service will fulfil the requirements of the law. You've got a very good application for a judicial review in, and I hope you succeed with that as well. I just want to say something about where Labour stands on libraries and what we would do. We are absolutely clear we do not want a postcode lottery in the library service. We're absolutely clear that while volunteers have a useful role to play, if it wasn't for volunteers, you wouldn't all be standing here today. You're all volunteers on your campaign. But we need to have a core professional service. It's a complicated thing running a library. And I mean, it's extraordinary, really, when one thinks we're standing a few uh, hundred yards from Lincoln Cathedral, a heart of learning for hundreds of years, and here we're worried about whether the library service will close. It's utterly ridiculous. So we need an end to the We need a core professional service and we need to strengthen and invest and modernise in our library service in this country. Now you've got an opportunity to pave the way for this by supporting Liz Maxwell in the next time and then in a year's time Lucy Rigby who will make a fantastic MP for Lincoln and I think that this campaign is really important. You are presenting to the whole county an alternative vision of what the good life is about. The good life is not about watching Big Brother on the telly. The 
good life is about having new experiences. Experiences which include learning, knowledge, books, music, all these things. So I say, all power to you and long live Lincolnshire Library. Hooray! Hooray.